I'm going to talk a little bit about charging the battery, keeping the battery charged on the uh, electric spreader. A couple do's and don'ts. It's pretty simple. There's an on-off switch here. During the day when you're working, you can leave it on all day. But when you go to charge it, it needs to be turned to off. Also, when it sits any length of time, it should always be off. But it's okay to leave it on all day long while you're using it from job to job. The charger that you get with your spreader will come in this box. And this needs to be plugged in there. And then this end plugs right in here to the spreader, right here. Now that you have the charger plugged in firmly here, you will, should always plug the pigtail in first and then to the outlet. It's okay if you do it the other way around, but we recommend plugging it into the spreader first. And remember to turn it to off before charging. Once you've plugged the pigtail in, then you can plug it into your outlet. When the charger is plugged in to the spreader, but not to the outlet, you'll have one red light on. Once you plug it into the outlet, you will hear the charger run, and you will have two red lights when it is charging, and you'll hear the fan running. Once you check it, and you do have the green light, that means it is now charged and it's ready for a day's worth of work. A couple things I do want to say uh, about the battery is it is a battery, just like any battery. You don't want to let them sit for a year without being charged. So I would suggest keeping the battery, if you're not using it, occasionally plug it in and, and let it uh, you know charge. About every you know three to six months, Put a charger on it, make sure it's topped off just like you would any battery. Also, battery does come with a five year commercial warranty. This is for the LifePo 4 batteries. Included with the charger are a couple fuses. So if you were to have any kind of a power surge and possibly blow a fuse, Fuse goes right here and it comes with two extras.